Hi there. In this video about Premiere Productions, we are going to dive into the difference between relinking clips and reassociating clips. These are actually two separate functions when you work inside of a production. And uh, I want to explain what each of those are and then explain how you can go through if you ever have to move media or if projects get deleted out of your production accidentally, um, some ways to reassociate, to reconnect everything, get it all working again again, um, depending on what has happened. Now, first off, I want to be clear between the difference between these two. Relinking clips, when we talk about needing to link up media, we are talking about when a clip in a bin goes offline. Um, you know, this is something that can happen manually. If I, you know, take a clip in this particular project, right click on it, and I choose uh, make offline. This will knock this particular clip offline uh, in this project. And you can see that the icon actually changes to a question mark. So this is when we're getting into how this bin item, this, this clip inside of a Premiere Pro project, it's no longer linked or connected to the particular piece of media in question. And um, this is where we deal with, with relinking anytime that you have to go through and relink clips. Um, if you're working inside of a production and you open up a project, uh, that ha contains a sequence inside of it and the clips are unlinked in the sequence. Um, and I think I might have an example in here someplace. Um, it's always possible to relink on a sequence basis on individual clips. You can right click and there is a, uh, a link media option that you can find inside the right click menu. But the key thing to be aware of here is if you are uh, working inside of a production and for some reason that production folder has to be moved to a different drive someplace, the way to approach relinking that production is to link up your media projects first, have all of your media projects open Go through and open every single one of your media projects and then start opening up your sequence projects. If you do it in this order, you'll only have to relink the clips in the media projects. Your sequences will automatically inherit the new paths from your media projects. And so if you ever get in a situation where, you know, all of your media had to go out, like a drive failed, you had to bring in a backup, it has a different name, everything has been knocked offline. The key way to relink in a production is to relink the media projects first and then leave those projects open when you open up your sequence projects and all of the clips in the sequences will relink. If you don't do it in this order, it can be a little frustrating because you can open up a sequence, um, everything is, uh, you relink everything in the sequence, but then when you go to open up the media projects or you do a reveal in project, if those projects haven't been relinked, it'll start knocking your clips offline. It'll inherit the old path from the media project back into your timeline. So make sure and do it in the right order. Uh, metadata and information comes from the media projects and moves into the sequence projects. So if you do everything there, leave those projects open when you open up your sequences, you won't have to relink everything over again. Now, what is reassociation? What is reassociation and relinking? Why are they two separate items? Reassociation is the relationship between the clips on a timeline and the clips in the bin. That ability to right click on a clip and choose reveal in project is all based on an association between the clip in the timeline and whatever project that clip lives in the production uh, in the bin. And there are some times where that can break. Um, usually it happens if somebody has deleted a project or they've moved a project out of the production folder. Um, or in some rare cases, if you start to manipulate like project names on a finder level, um, we've seen some, some challenges there. But the biggest thing is to just make sure uh, that that reassociation uh, there's a different way of fixing reassociation problems, and I want to kind of quickly touch on this. And to do this, I'm actually going to jump in my timeline to a graphics clip here that was rendered out of an application. So this is just a 
just a quick clip with uh, some closing credits for this particular film. If I right click on this and I say reveal in project, it's going to give me a message saying project not found or, or project not found. It's basically saying, hey, we think this project or this clip lived in a project uh, called such and such, and it'll actually list it off on screen for you. Um, but we're not finding that project in your production anymore. Um, so if you run into a situation like this, it's going to ask you whether you want to open that project manually. If you know for a fact that this clip lives in a particular project, and I happen to know that it's in the graphics and titles project, I can go ahead and click yes. And then I just need to browse using this box here to my production. In this case, I'm going to go into Century Movie Time and I'm going to go into Media and then I'm going to go into my graphics and titles project. I'm going to go ahead and select that and click open. Um, now, in other cases, you might actually see uh, it might not find that particular clip. And uh, in those situations, Premiere will actually um, offer to search all your open projects. So if you're running into a lot of problems with this, Again, one solution is start opening up all of your source media projects. Um, when you get to this stage, let Premiere go through and search for it. Uh, it will go through and it will search uh, all of your different projects and try and find the clip in question. Now, there's, there's even another way of handling this. If you're doing a lot of this or you know for a fact that, you know, a lot of things have changed, you've got a lot of stuff that's broken, um, it's possible to select sequences and there's some options that are found in the edit menu. You'll notice there's an option here called reassociate source clips. This can also be a useful tool if there are clips in your timeline that you need to reassociate to a specific project. Um, this is a way of doing that. Um, now, the way this works if you've got a timeline that's made up of clips that come from 20 different dailies projects, for example, you might have to do this 20 times. Um, but this gives you that control of not having to go through a right click menu and choose reveal and project and finding the broken bits. You can actually go through and you can sort of force a relink to specific projects using this as an option. So I'll go ahead and select this graphics and titles project here, click open, any clips in the timeline that it finds in that graphics and titles project, those will now be relinked to the graphics titles project. Um, so if there are clips that weren't found, um, it just ignores them. It leaves the pathing alone the way it was before. But in this situation, you know, if for some reason something has completely moved to a different location, all of that association is broken. Uh, just remember that you do have a menu command in here to kind of force a reassociation to a new location. This can be particularly useful if um, somebody has duplicated your source projects. If you like, if they've taken day one and someone has their own copy of it that they've moved into a folder, shouldn't do that. Shame on you. But if you did it, um, now there's two copies of all that source media floating around. Premiere might not know which one you need to go to. And if you want to force a reassociation to the one that's in a particular editor's folder, uh, this would be the methodology for doing that. So I hope that clears up a couple of common uh, misconceptions about the difference between relinking and reassociating. Please like and subscribe. Uh, check out the rest of the videos in this series as we go further deep diving into Premiere Productions. Thanks for watching.